Hello, my name is Troy Brock, your fire chief, chief of the Rome Fire Department. It is our responsibility to make sure that our citizens and our guests are well taken care of. The Rome Fire Department began in 1850 as a volunteer fire department. In 1908, we become a fully paid career department. We have 10 stations, we protect 514 square miles, and serve over 100,000 citizens. It is our duty to protect lives, property, and the environment. We do this with skillful, cost-effective fire protection. It is an honor to serve you, and we will always uphold our mission. Hello, I'm Kurt Pearson, Deputy Chief of the Rome Fire Department. Here in Rome, we feel like we have a very effective, highly trained, and professional department. It's an honor to serve the citizens of Roman Floyd County with excellent emergency services. Each day, our members have an opportunity to make a positive impact in the lives of others. Our department is committed and dedicated to providing a safe place for our citizens to live. As Deputy Chief of the Department, I assist the Fire Chief in the day-to-day -day operations and overseeing of the department, uh, working specifically with the Division Chief of Support and the Division Chief of Operations. I also work closely with the administrative staff consisting of two executive assistants and one information technology business manager. Uh, overseeing everything from ordering, purchasing, requisitions, uh, payroll, and other duties. My name is uh, Brad Robertson, uh, Division Chief within the Rome Fire Department. I'm in charge of the Suppression Division, which is a large division within the Rome Fire Department. Uh, the Suppression Division is made up of 150 men and women that are committed to training and serving this community to the best of our abilities. Uh, the Rome Fire Department and Suppression Division has 10 fire stations made up of 150 employees. We have eight fire engines and we also have two uh, quints uh, ladder trucks which are 70 feet which also operate as an engine or a pumper used to put out fires. Uh, also with a 110 foot aerial ladder truck. Uh, our, the men and women in the Rome Floyd uh, County Fire Department uh, work shift work. They work 24-hour uh, shifts made up of A, B, and C shift. Uh, our employees in the, in the suppression division work one day, which is 24 hours, and then off 48. Then they come back the third day. Within the suppression division, we're responsible for many emergency situations that we may respond to, such as emergency medical calls, trauma calls, uh, vehicle accidents, uh, fires, and even specialized training. Uh, we also have specialized training as far as, and res responsibilities as far as water rescue to hazardous materials response, which involves deadly gases or chemical releases in the Rome Fire Department, it is our responsibility to wear many hats and to be prepared for these type situations. So with the Rome Fire Department, we are committed to training and committed to serving this community. Hello, my name is Dean Oswald. I'm the Division Chief of Support for the Rome Fire Department. My main responsibilities are I supervise the Training Chief, who is over the Training Division, the, tri the Fire Marshal, who is over the Fire Prevention Division, and the Shop Foreman, who is over the Maintenance Division. My other duties including assisting the Deputy Chief and the Chief of the Roman Fire Department with day-to-day -day operations. Our training division is a very proactive division. We strive to meet the needs of our members while putting the citizens' needs and expectations first and foremost in all of our programs. We are very proactive in training. We train in not only fire-related response, emergency medical, and hazmat. Emergency medical makes up a lot of our call volume at this time. Fires have luckily gone down due to education and prevention efforts. Our members need to be more well-rounded, and that's what our training division strives to do. We reach out to our members, they come to us with their needs, we research and we develop programs in order to meet those needs, which in turn provides better service to the citizens of Roman Floyd County. Our education department is very proactive in reaching out to the school level children as well as adults throughout our community. We are very citizen oriented in approach on our education for fire safety, as well as emergency preparedness. We work in conjunction with several other agencies throughout Roman Floyd County
to meet the needs and expectations of the citizens. We also demand that our members set high standards for themselves and we set high standards for them as well. We promote only the best and most qualified candidates through our department promotional processes and when we hire new recruits we put them through a rigorous training program that we ensure when they go onto our fire trucks that they are the best that they can be along with training they get out in the field to meet those needs the day one they get on the truck. The Division of Fire Prevention, the Rome Fire Department, consists of a, the fire marshal and a staff of four. We do fire investigations, we do fire inspections, and we do plan review. About 85% of our time is done on life safety inspections. About 5% of our time is plan review and the other 10 is fire investigations. In inspections, we do life safety inspections on all new construction, all old construction with over 6,000 buildings in Floyd County. And um, fire investigations, that is done by each individual that works in fire prevention. All these people are educated in inspections they are ex educated in plan review and in um, fire investigations. We do fire inspections to decrease the possibility of a fire occurring. That's what fire prevention is all about. We prevent the fires to keep the firemen from having to put them out. And a steady drop since 1975, since this program was conceived in Rome, there's been a steady drop in fires up until present day. So education is working. The plan review part of our job, we do plan reviews of new buildings that are proposed and we also do buildings that are being renovated. And we look at these from a life safety point of view to make sure that anything and everything that can be done life safety wise to keep injuries to a minimum and fires to a minimum is done. We also do fire investigations and during an investigation what our job is in Rome, we are charged out with cause and origin which means we try to figure out what caused the fire and where it started. In closing, I'd like to say that we're honored to serve the citizens of Rome and Floyd County. Uh, we're dedicated, we're educated, and we're doing our very best to see that fires don't occur in Rome and Floyd County. In closing, I want to thank you, Rome and Floyd County, for your support, encouragement, and trust. Because without you, the department would not be where we are today. <laughs>